welcome to another edition of Where's Wave Wednesday. Where's Wave Wednesday is all about promoting local businesses. Today we're at Scuttlebutt's. We're going to go inside and talk to the owner, Danny Glover, and ask him how he's dealing with COVID, how his catering business is going for the holidays, and we're also going to talk to him about a potential run for local office. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you to our sponsors today for the episode. I'd like to thank Birdo's Deli in downtown Downers Grove and our friends at Cleveland Tramiel Chicago. Thank you and we hope you enjoy the show. Hey, hello again, Ryan Wait for Where's Wait Wednesday. The Wait Law Firm went ahead and purchased a $50 gift card for a potential winner. In order to win this $50 gift card, you do have to come into Scuttlebots, either ordering online or going through the drive through and referencing Wait Law Firm or Wait Law. Uh, you have to come in before December 9th and December 23rd. On December 24th, I'll come in here with Danny Glover and we will pick a winner. We hope you have a great holiday. We hope you enjoy the show. And please shop local, shop Scuttlebutts. Hi, this is Ryan Waite with Danny Glover, the owner of Scuttlebutts, and Dominic Floro, Chicago title rep. How's things going right now, Dan? Everything's going good. We, uh, you know, we've had to uh, adapt a little bit here with COVID and, and whatnot, but we're we're making it through, and we're going to see it to the other side. You referenced COVID there. You got a thriving business. I see you all over social media, and it's tough for a business owner right now. Yeah. What are you doing that you think is the key to your success with the COVID going on? You know, we're we're just adapting. We've done a lot of different partnerships within the community. You know, some with you with the uh, with Wade Law Firm. I think that's huge. We've been doing a lot of adapting here at the restaurant. We've reopened our drive-through window, which we always do our buy one get one free pizzas through. We do takeout orders all the time we haven't had to really change our business model for for this particular scenario because that's what we always do and that's what we're known for where we've had to change a little bit is the uh, the catering end of things we're used to doing trays of food for large parties large events where we go on site and grill fortunately there hasn't been a lot of that this year most of our events have been smaller uh, a lot of our uh, customers have been wanting us to individually box orders for them and that's what we've done we've just adapted into doing smaller orders and individually boxing everything to keep everything safe and, you know just really relied on our customers and the partnerships that we've formed over the years like amazon and advocate and target and a couple of these other big customers who we've we've really relied on to uh, to keep us busy so it's, it's 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 worked out so far any specials for catering for the holidays oh yeah of course a number of different things the most popular is going to be our family meals we've we've um, taken down the portions quite a bit to make portions for four to five people, but you can still order, you know, for 10, 20, 30, whatever you want to do. But most of our orders have been for the, that smaller end, the four to five people, kind of decrease our minimums a little bit to change with relations and what everybody feels comfortable with. How many employees do you have right now, Dan? Right now, including drivers, we're probably about 15 to 18 full-time guys. We got about 10. That's pretty standard to where we normally are at. We had to drastically reduce in the summertime, but we're, we're we're at about what we normally are at. That's great. Yeah. That's great. I want to reference the two-for-one pizza. That's a heck of a deal. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Keep that in mind, audience. Yeah. The pizza's yeah. outstanding here. Yeah. Dan, I know you are very well known in the community here. I see you all over Facebook. We're friends. Uh, I know you're lo running for local office. Is that correct? Yes. That Why don't you tell correct. us a little bit about that? Uh, it's something that I've thought about for years, you know, getting involved more within the community. You know, I've, uh, I've been asked to run for different things before, and I never thought that I could make the time commitment. And where I stand in business right now and everything that's going on in my personal life, I feel like now is the right time to, uh, to, to dive into it and, and do it and really try to make an impact in, in my community. I feel like I'm the best guy for the job because I'm so involved with, with the community. I have a passion for the community. A lot of people ask like why I'm running and there's no specific reason. And I think that's a good thing because I'm not trying to change. I don't think anybody's there has done anything terrible. I feel like they all have uh, the best interests of Dr. Grove in mind. I just feel like I would personally want to have a bigger impact on my community. I think I have a lot to bring to the table. I bring a different perspective than, than others do that are, are, uh, are currently on there or running. And I can do a lot to help the community. You have my vote and yeah. viewers, you can find his website attached to the page of this video. Uh, Dan, we do appreciate your time. Next, we're gonna talk to Dominic Floro of Chicago Title. Dominic Floro is with Chicago Title. He's a title rep. He's my title rep, uh, and he's been instrumental in helping my small business grow over the last couple of years. So Dominic, thanks for joining us today. And uh, how are things going? Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, you know, this place is great. I can attest to how great the pizza is. Uh, you know, we always get the two for one deal. So uh, you guys definitely get in here and get that. Aside from that, I think, uh, you know, at Chicago Title, we're seeing a lot of the same things that, you know, a pizzeria is seeing too. 
Uh, you know, we're, we're changing with the times and we're changing with the new standards that are put in place. So keeping people safe at closings, we're limiting the people that can actually come into the building and then obviously sanitizing and taking precautions that way. Aside from that, helping our business partners grow has been obviously still our main focus and it's a little harder to do in these times, but I think it all starts with giving back to the community and kind of making that present to, you know, everyone else on social media and everyone else that sees is, you know, it's contagious. So once they see, you know, the friends and family giving back to a local business, they're going to want to do the same. Uh, and I think that's huge to keep in mind too with the holiday season coming around. I mean, stick to the gift cards for giving back to the local community. Other things like Amazon, you know, go, go to a local store and buy something instead. So I think that's what we're trying to do, just make an impact on the community around us. And we're partnering with great people here to do it. So thanks for having me. Thank you for being here, Dominic. I truly appreciate you and I appreciate everybody at Chicago Title. Uh, Dan, thanks a lot for having us. Uh, thank you. We really appreciate that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Where's Weight Wednesday. Thank you.